The Rolls-Royce Trent 900 is a series of turbofan engines, developed from the RB211 and is one of the family of Trent engines. It is one of the power plant options available for the Airbus A380, along with the Engine Alliance GP7000. Design and Development In the early 1990s, Airbus had begun development of a larger competitor to the Boeing 747, an aircraft designated A320, which was later to be formally launched as the A380. By 1996, its definition had progressed to the extent that Rolls-Royce was able to announce that it would develop the Trent 900 to power the A380. In October 2000, the Trent 900 became the A380's launch engine when Singapore Airlines specified the engine for its order for 10 A380s. This was quickly followed by Qantas in February 2001. Rolls-Royce has seven risk and revenue sharing partners on the Trent 900, Industria de Turbo Propulsors, Hamilton Sunstrand, AVOSPA, Marubini Corporation, Volvo Aero, Goodrich Corporation and Honeywell. In addition, Samsung Techwin, Kawasaki Heavy Industries and Ashir Kawajima Harima Heavy Industries are program associates. The Trent 900 made its maiden flight on May 17, 2004 on Airbus A340-300 testbed, replacing the port in a CFM 56-5 engine, and its final certification was granted by EASA on October 29, 2004 and the FAA on December 4, 2006. Rolls-Royce announced in October 2007 that production of the Trent 900 had been restarted after a 12-month suspension caused by delays to the A380. On September 27, 2007, British Airways announced the selection of the Trent 900 to power 12 A380 aircraft, helping to take the engine's share of the A380 engine market to 52% at the end of February 2009. The Trent 900 family powers the Airbus A380. It comes into thrust ratings for the A380, 310 kN and 320 kN but is capable of achieving 360 kN. It features a significant amount of technology inherited from the 8104 demonstrator including its 2.95 m diameter swept back fan which provides greater thrust for the same engine size and is also about 15% lighter than previous white cord blades. It is also the first member of the Trent family to feature a contra-rotating HP spool and uses the core of the very reliable Trent 500. It is the only A380 engine that can be transported on a Boeing 747 freighter hull. Whereas most members of the Trent family are controlled by Goodrich FADECs. Engine controllers on the Trent 900 are provided by Hamilton Sunstrand, a United Technologies company. UTC is also the parent company of Pratt & Whitney, who, with GE Aircraft Engines, is partnering to produce the Engine Alliance GP7000, the other engine available for the A380. This kind of cooperation among competitors is prevalent in the aircraft market as it provides for risk sharing among them and diversity in source countries which may be a significant factor in an airline's choice of airframe and power plant. The Trent 900 will be the first Trent engine fitted with the Advanced Engine Health Monitoring System based on quick technology. Variants Trent 970B84 with 348.31 kN of thrust In use by A380-841 of Singapore Airlines, Lufthansa, China Southern Airlines and Malaysia Airlines. Trent 972B84 with 356.81 kN of thrust. Higher thrust variant of the 970, in use by A380 842 of Qantas. Trent 977B84 with 372.92 kN of thrust. Variant for A380 843F. Trend 980-84 with 374.09 kN of thrust. Higher thrust variant for A380-941. Upgrades The Trent 900 family of engines had their first set of upgrades marketed as the Trent 900 EP. These were available for delivery from 2012. This package delivered a 1% saving on fuel burn compared to non-EP engines. While one source states that this package is not available as a retrofit to previously delivered engines, 
Rolls-Royce told Aviation Week and Space Technology that the upgrades were intended in most cases for both new engines and as retrofits. This upgrade is based on advancements made during the development of the Trent XWB and matches improvements made for the Trent 700 called the Trent 700 EP. Block 1 includes elliptical leading edges in the compressor, smaller low-pressure turbine tip clearances, and new coating for the high-pressure compressor drum, as well as an upgrade to the engine control software. The EP2 package entered testing in May 2013 and is scheduled to be available for delivery in mid-2014. This package aims to provide a further 0.8% reduction in fuel burn on top of the improvements offered by the EP package. Changes include better sealing of the low-pressure turbine, improvements to fan blade tip clearances, and other changes derived from the engines developed for the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. EP2 passed a type certificate test by European Aviation Safety Agency on 27 November 2013 and an update type certificate was issued on December 11, 2013. Applications, Airbus A380 Notable incidents, on November 4, 2010, a Trent 972-powered Airbus A380-842 of Qantas Flight QF32 suffered an uncontained engine failure in engine number 2 en route from Singapore to Sydney and returned to Singapore Changi Airport where it landed safely. Qantas grounded its fleet of six A380s for over three weeks after the accident pending the investigation and said it may replace up to 16 engines after identifying potential problems. VHOQA was repaired at an estimated cost of 139 million Australian dollars. The aircraft has four new engines, a repaired left wing, and had extensive on-ground testing and two test flights. It returned to service on April 28, 2012. On November 10, 2010, the European Aviation Safety Agency issued an Emergency Airworthiness Directive, ordering airlines using the Trent 900 engine to conduct frequent and stringent tests, including extended ground idle runs, low-pressure turbine stage 1 blade and case drain inspections and HPIP structure air buffer cavity and oil service tube inspections. However, on November 22, 2010, the EASA eased its inspection guidelines, citing progress in the investigation. It dropped requirements for extended ground idle runs and requirements for repetitive inspections of the LPT Stage 1 blades and case drain. An investigation by Rolls-Royce concluded that the accident was caused by an oil fire and was confined to a specific component in the turbine area of the engine. The fire led to the release of the intermediate pressure turbine disc. It also said the issue is specific to the Trent 900. Airbus determined that the IPT disc released three different high-energy fragments, resulting in some structural and systems damage. It also concluded that segregated wiring routes were cut by two out of the three individual disc debris and as a result, engine one could not be shut down after landing. On November 18, Airbus announced it may seek compensation from Rolls-Royce for any disruption caused by the Qantas incident and the plans to reassign engines. In a preliminary investigation report of the engine failure of Qantas Flight QF32, released December 3, 2010, the Australian Transport Safety Bureau outlined safety actions taken already, including the issuing of a safety recommendation about potential engine problems with the Trent 900. The safety recommendation relates to a possible manufacturing issue with a misaligned counterbore in some pressured oil pipes, which could lead to fatigue cracking, oil leakage, oil fire, and engine failure. Qantas claims that thrust restrictions recommended by Rolls-Royce following the engine failure have led to severely reduced payloads, making routes unprofitable. Specifications General Characteristics Type 3-shaft high-bypass ratio turbofan engine, length, 5.48 meters tip of spinner minus rubber tip to tail bearing housing plug mount flange, diameter, 2.95 mlp compressor fan, dry weight, 6,246 kilograms. Components, compressor, single-stage LP, 8-stage IP compressor, 6-stage HP compressor, combustors, single annular combustor, turbine, single-stage HP turbine, single-stage IP turbine, five-stage LP turbine. 
performance, maximum thrust, 344 a euro 357 kilonewtons or 77,000 a euro 80,000 pound forces, overall pressure ratio, 37 a euro 39, thrust to weight ratio. 5.46 a euro 6.11 mass slash weight of engine and certified to 334 a euro 374 kilonewtons or 75,000 a euro 84,000 pound forces of thrust, source, EASA type certificate. Cost, in 2000 Qantas were quoted a price of 12.85 million US dollars per Trent 900. In 2012 Skymark Airlines signed a contract for 24 Trent 900s including long-term total carrier registered trademark service support at a cost of US$1 billion. See also, Comparable Engines, Engine Alliance GP7000, Related Lists, List of Aircraft Engines. References External links, Rolls-Royce PLC a Euro Trent 900. FAA Trent 970 Type Certificate Data Sheet